Mario Rios has beef with everyone. That's not true. These bodybuilders have beef with me. But it makes sense. They're obviously threatened by someone with a college education who went to school to learn about things like exercise science, exercise physiology, kinesiology, who's been a trainer for over four years. And even after his education's over, he's still learning about strength and conditioning. Before me, bodybuilders thought their physique was the most aesthetic and the most attractive. But through facts and the application of data, I proved that's not the case. Before me, bodybuilders thought their physique had the best physicality and the best capability. And through facts, data, and the application of strength and conditioning principles, I debunked that as well. Because the physique that's the most aesthetic and attractive, that has the best physicality and capability, is the athletic physique. And once I took that away from the bodybuilders, they had nothing. I feel like I'm one of the most hated fitness YouTubers out here, but for good reason. Because I'm not like one of these NPC bums. All these bodybuilders are copy paste of each other. They heard one thing from another guy, so that's their training philosophy and ideas. But since I went to school and learned about exercise, I had new training philosophies and ideas to bring to the table. Because when you learn about exercise, you start to learn a couple things. And when I present these ideas in videos, it goes against the grain. Go look at all the comments I get. They're all either insults toward me or saying I'm wrong without a counter argument. Yet you got YouTubers saying I'm the negative one. Yet these same YouTubers will attack my credibility and attack things I can't control like my genetics to base their argument off of. The negativity they say I promote is an application of data and fact. Me saying small calves are better for athletics is an application of fact. I've gone over it multiple times, but it still hurts their feelings so bad. Because these YouTubers can't hurt my feelings, what they say is a negative. Because these bodybuilders are so sensitive, apparently I'm the negative one. Facts don't care about your feelings, and people aren't responsible for how you feel. An example of people calling someone negative, despite having some great ideas, is the top G. But have you noticed how many people say he's negative, despite saying things like this? Every single man out there listening to this, I want you to do one thing today and I want you to do the same thing for the rest of your adult life. I want you to work very hard and I want you to be proud of yourself. If you do those two things, you'll be amazed how close you'll come to your goal. His advice truly changed my life. If I had listened to the negativity the majority had told us, I wouldn't be the man I am today. And these bodybuilders and all these copy-paste YouTubers let their feelings control how they view my content. Have you not noticed the difference between my content and everybody else's? Mine is fast-paced and fun, there's a slow pace and boring. My mentality was I want to be that fun professor that everybody loves. And in order to do that, my hooks have to grab people's attention. So these bodybuilders love to take my hooks out of context to somehow expose me. They like to take the fact that I'm educated to somehow expose me. Unlike 99% of these bodybuilders, training is my actual job. And the only bodybuilders that actually train people aren't certified to do it. So they're actually doing a disservice to everybody they train. It's no secret I had bad genetics, but I'm glad I did. I've still built the best body I could for myself, but it also pushed me to get an education so I knew what I was talking about. Because everyone in the fitness community believes that if you have a great physique or you're super strong, you know what you're talking about. They connect good genetics to good knowledge. I had someone at my gym who was squatting over 500 pounds ask me for advice because he knew I knew more than him. He asked me for advice because he said that he got so far with his genetics so he never had to have a proper training program. And that's what all the bodybuilders in the fitness community have. Great genetics, poor knowledge. But since I can't get big, despite my education, I don't know what I'm talking about. I started off at 130 pounds and got to a point where I was almost at 180 pounds. If these same bodybuilders were in my position, they would have gave up. They would have never gotten to the point I got to. And this pushed me to go learn as much as I could about lifting weights because I had to. I made a video exposing this one fitness YouTuber. The story about the beef came up because I saw his original video. And when I heard it the first time, I didn't think it was correct. So I reached out to my brother Martin, who's about to enter his last year in grad school to become a doctor in physical therapy to confirm this with me. And of course I was correct. His method was not the best technique to fix his impairment which was tight calves. Then he made a pitiful response video on me, which didn't address the video, made up a fake story to somehow prove I didn't know what I was talking about, and then attacked my credibility. Because somehow having a great education is something that can be used against you. So I teamed up with my brother and we made a great response video. Because I went to school, I have way different ideas than everybody else. These bodybuilders all have the same idea, they're all the exact same as each other. The only information they get is from other bodybuilders or Google search. So they pick and choose what they want to learn about. I was presented all the information in front of me and determined that an athletic bodybuilding style of training is far superior for your life, health, and performance. And almost everyone in the fitness community is on that bodybuilder side. Go look at this YouTuber's comment section. He gets tons of support, people assuming he's right, even though they know nothing about the subject we're talking about. And then when I get a response video, 
They tell the YouTuber don't react to him, you're just giving him more attention. Even though the only time he gets views is when he talks about me. It's bodybuilders versus me and Leon Edwards. Luckily my brother, who again is about to be a doctor in physical therapy, so if you thought I was educated, he's more educated than I am, is about to share his ideas to YouTube too. I'm gonna put the link in the description to his channel and as the pinned comment. Go subscribe to him. Not only will you get quality information, but it still helps us share the method of athletic bodybuilding to the masses. We're not gonna stoop down to these bodybuilders level. We're gonna use the application of fact and education in a fun and entertaining way to help everyone who supports athletic bodybuilding live a better life. All these bodybuilders are gonna come promote negativity to my page because their sensitive feelings got hurt and they feel threatened by my ideas. We're not gonna do the same to them. I don't want any of you guys doing the same thing to them that they're doing to us. Because comments like this are how you act when the facts are against you. Training like an athlete and training to look like an athlete will lead to a better life for you. There's a reason why I adopted this new training philosophy that no one's come up with yet. It all goes back to these bodybuilders having great genetics. When I grew up, I had a very late growth spurt. So even though I was 16, I looked like I was 12. This is me when I was 18. You could argue I looked like I was 13 or 14. And once I started building muscle and becoming more attractive, my life started to get better. You're gonna hear these bodybuilders say, don't do it for them, do it for you. But doing it for them does it for you. In high school, I was a loser with no confidence. I'll be the first one to admit that. And then I started building muscle, despite my genetics saying that I couldn't do it. And all of a sudden, every part of my life got better. My confidence, my dating life, my friendships. As the old saying goes, the world is nicer to attractive people. And if you're familiar with my channel, I've provided several surveys and polls that have said bodybuilders don't look good. Go watch all these public interviews where guys ask girls, what's the best body type for men? And determine your own conclusion on whether bodybuilders are attractive or not. Y'all like bodybuilders? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bodybuilders? Yeah. I like skinny, scrawny guys. How about multimillionaires? <laughs> How about eight inches and thick? How about talented? How about loving and respectful? Nothing but pure, and I ask you if you want to be in the YouTube channel. And you like scrawny guys. I know he trauma dump on us like that. Damn. I built muscle to live a better life. And I always knew that athletic build was more attractive. But a side effect of that came great athletic performance, which you don't realize how good that makes you feel until you have it. This goes back to my growth spurt again. I played sports all my life. I was good at pretty much everything I did, but it always got to a point where I was too weak, too slow, and too short to compete with everybody else. It sucked going into sports knowing I had to avoid contact. It sucked getting into arguments with people and shying away because you felt weak. And bodybuilding doesn't cure that. That's why the most insecure people while fighting are bodybuilders. Somebody commented on my post, so imagine doing all that just, just to lose in a fight. Bro looks skinny as fuck, bro. If I literally fought him in a street fight, I would literally maul him like a there. No MMA, they can whoop, they can whoop a big dude's ass. They get instantly pressed about a dude who's not a skinny like you're a skinny bastard. If I catch you on the street, it doesn't matter what kind of fighting technique you know. I'll choke slam you, bro. After lifting weights for a couple years, I started doing kickboxing again. I got my black belt on Taekwondo when I was a kid, and I had almost accomplished the fitness realm, but I wanted to learn how to fight. And using the athletic bodybuilding principles to learn how to fight will truly change your life. That's why a lot of my videos are about fighting because fighting has the biggest spectrum of athletic abilities. You need endurance, power, strength. You need all this stuff. And when you can defend yourself and you look good, you feel like you can accomplish anything in life. And that's what I want for you guys. So if you haven't started lifting weights, start lifting weights. If you haven't picked up a martial art, go pick up a martial art. Me, Leon Edwards, and my brother Martin are gonna change the way that people view building muscle and weightlifting.